Good afternoon, Africa. Good afternoon, Bantus of Africa and all citizens living in this beautiful continent. Today we have come with a public lecture that we topically give it a, a term, Africa, the cradle of mankind. Why are we pretending and why are we treating each other or are we treated as second class citizens? That is our topic today. As we all are aware that Africa is more like a beautiful girl or a virgin that has just graduated, not school, graduated in age that she is now beginning to know what is humanity. On this girl, many people with money, without money, with the advantages, they will fall this young lady, they will fall this virgin, so that three or four things should happen. To exploit her, to destroy her, or to grow with her, or to develop her. And that is the challenge that Africa is facing today. Because as a virgin, Africa is now an interest of each and every nation of the world. Africa is a beautiful girl wanted by Europe. <clears throat> Africa is a beautiful girl wanted by Asia. Africa is a beautiful girl wanted by America. Africa is a beautiful girl wanted by local men within Africa. And that is the disadvantage of the girl, Africa. But it can also be advantage. Advantage in what sense? Anybody who wants to live, work, do, invest, and enjoy life with Africa, it is possible to make Africa grow. It is possible to make Africa develop. It is possible to remove, to, to, to exile Africa to reach the level of Europe, America, or Asia. If the people, those men who want to fall in love with Africa are there with the interest of developing Africa. It is disadvantage if the old men, Europe, old men, Asia, old men, America, just want to come and test the virginity and exploit her. It is a disadvantage if the local men in Africa just want to test Africa, steal from her, give her some diseases, and run away. Africa is a disadvantage on that part. So today we want to discuss why are we pretending to be Africans when we are not? Why are we being a creator of mankind? Why are we treated? Or why are we treating each other? Or why are we seeing ourselves as second class people in this world? Today it's our caution to find out why. We will start with the source of all our problems, religion. Africa has got no its own origin of believing in nature and creation. We always hear from them, from them, from them. They come and tell us that there is God above. And only if you believe in him shall we be redeemed, shall we be saved, shall we be delivered. No African was shown what the truth is in this myth. No one. But it has grown, it has developed, it has sunken in our hearts and souls to believe that there is God and after the end of life there will be deliverance. This has made Africa lazy. This has made us to be second class people because we listen to somebody who don't know what he's saying. We listen to somebody who came with a, a crooked way of trying to, confu to confuse us, not to convince, but confuse us, telling us that we must believe what he thinks is right. Yet, he is coming to cheat us because there's no truth that he's saying. That's one biggest problem. That is the end and the fall of Africa.
<coughs> Today, no African of this color, whatever color you may have, no African has his own explanation or definition or encyclopedia of understanding nature and this powerful force in heaven called God. Nobody. We want to read the Bible written by the Europeans telling us about God. We want to read the Quran but written by Asians telling us about God. We don't have our own documented information that tells us about our gold in Africa. Not. And you know why? We pretend. This is being pretending. We are being people that pretend. We are pretending because we are not who we are. But in my first topic I said we are the creator of mankind. Including the Bible agrees, the Quran agrees, the Europeans agrees, the Asians agrees, and Americans agrees that Africa is the creator of mankind. Because humanity began from here. I am the genesis of life. Despite having this color. I am the beginning of life. Life begins from me. Because the creator of mankind is in Africa. Now, why are we living, treated, or pretending that we are not? Because if we are treated, or if you are treating each other as second-class citizens, then we are agreeing and we are pretending. The truth is not that. Now, we have three, four problems that we are facing in Africa. The first problem is not the people who came from outside. It is you, men and women, and me. We don't know who we are, and we pretend, we, we pretend to be who we are when we are not. That is the problem of Africa. We are failing to agree that we are the beginners. We are failing to accept that we are the genesis. We accept to refuse. We are, we are failing to accept that we are the, the first people. And you know what? It's being stupid for a person to be believing in lies when you see the truth lying there. It's being stupid. And this is the biggest deathness that we need to remove from our lives, we black people. Let us remove the mentality of believing on the lie that we know this is a lie. I'll tell you this. Long, long, long ago, we hear that our ancestors, those that we are coming from, they would walk long distances and they had no homes, but wherever they go, they were having places to sleep, there was, they were having food to eat, and they couldn't suffer the way we are suffering now. The question is, how did they manage? To move such long distances? How did they know? Were they having compasses? Were compasses introduced by then? How did they know that this is Ethiopia, this is Liberia, this is, let me speak their old names, this is Abyssinia, this is a, what they call free states? How did they know that? It gives us a picture that Africans were, have been are and will be intelligent people. Africans, from the day one of our creation, we have been intelligent people. We are intelligent even now. We will always be intelligent. The only thing we have, we need to move the stupidity of believing in the myth. Someone is just coming because he's in a suit and the color is different, come and tell you that. Listen, people. What you are believing is not true, but you should believe on this. And we agree. That is our biggest mistake in Africa. That is our biggest mistake in Africa. Now, some people may not understand me when I talk about nature and the Bible and the Quran. You will say that, now, are you trying to say there's no God? No. God has been existing even before the Bible came. God has been existing even before the Quran was created. God has been existing even before Jesus Christ. God has been there 